few games, like David James going absolutely mad <laughs> on the post, which we can see now in the Portsmouth Blackburn game. Now, the thing is, I'm not 100% sure what the post did to deserve <laughs> this, because the post wasn't involved in the goal in any shape or form. As a, as a defender, Tony... Clearly it was in the wrong place, wasn't it? That's, <laughs> that's the obvious one. It should have been over a bit. When your goalkeeper goes mad like that, do you, do you like to see that or do you want him to stay calm? Uh, you just get out the way. Oh, do you, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you see the defender on the line flinching? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not me, David. Not I me, think David. he was wincing at the pink shirt, maybe, rather <laughs> than the actual no. violence. Uh, let's take a look at the most uh, well-worked routine that there was in any game in the Premier League yesterday. <laughs> Uh, James Milner and Steve Sidwell spent hours putting this together on the training field, and it, and it worked, Eddie. Don't we wish Sidwell was still playing for Chelsea, and maybe he could have done that today. That's but he fantastic. didn't, did he? And they went on to win 1 0. But anyway, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Do you know what? I, I really rate Steve Sidwell. I like Steve yeah. Sidwell as a player, don't you? Had that not gone in, yeah. we would have been having a different conversation. Mm. It was an awful miss. Well, Aston Villa season went kaput last year when he actually dropped Sidwell and he changed the formation. He did, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, he's a big player for him. There you go, good. Spurs then back into the top four. Before we talk about their performance, let's hear from our Spurs fan, Colin. Spurs were second best for most of the game and really only started playing once Cranchar replaced Keane with about half an hour still to go. Week in, week out, Harry Redknapp tries to accommodate Keane, often playing him on the left-hand side of midfield, and it simply isn't working. And what a shame that Darren Bent didn't have enough confidence in his own ability to stay on his feet and round the keeper. I bet Mrs Redknapp wouldn't have taken a dive. <laughs> he just kind of resembled the Spurs kid, doesn't he? He's kind of like white hair, dark shorts, dark socks. Uh, Spurs are a difficult one, aren't they? I mean, well, uh, do you think they can do top four? Do you not? Do they? No, I think they're a fifth. I, I mean, the, the problem is with Liverpool, isn't it? It's Liverpool could easily finish sixth or seventh. So, mm. I mean, there is a top five, six place up for grabs for Spurs, but... I, I think now that Arsenal look like they're really going to carry on going strong this season, I think the top three will be them, Chelsea and Man U, and then Man City, the other team. Man City, surely. Villa, I think yeah. that little pocket behind is going to be yeah. a tough arse. And, and to be fair, Spurs look, uh, look pretty good, but Sunderland, obviously they, they beat them today. I think Steve Bruce, a lot of admiration for him. I think yes. they're slowly yeah. getting up the echelon. It's not easy well, to go... You know, up six six spots, but they're doing well. We had a laugh at Steve Bruce's expense and what he was doing on the touchline last week. This week, we're going to take a laugh at Sam Allardyce for <laughs> the, the embarrassing dad celebration. It looks like something <laughs> from the village people, doesn't it? Yeah. What I like is the bald-headed guy as part of his battery team was just kept walking away. <laughs> leave me alone, Sam, leave me alone. I don't want anything to do with you. Oh, he's taken off to two wide players, come up with two forwards. If you're a, mm. a manager and mm. you do something, it comes off like that. You've got to celebrate. Mm. And how else is he going to do it? Yeah, the Blackburn fans have been calling for more than one striker up front all season. He puts three up and there you go, there's your results. Super you Jason. I don't think, just before we go, I don't think we should forget about Everton for that uh, fourth. I mean, they've been fifth or sixth and their manager's been manager of the year three times mm -hmm. in a row. They're always going to be there or there. About. Neither do I, Eddie, but because they play on a Sunday, we can't show the goals. So, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> so we've forgotten. <laughs> Leave them out. Everton, forget who, about Everton who? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we don't talk about them. Uh, now. Worryingly, I'm the most intelligent person in my family. Watch this. Our crack team this week are Kenny Dalgleish, Edwin van der Sar, 